Okay. Hey guys, so this time I got a little application. I'm waiting for it to. It's taking a lot to serve. So, meanwhile, I'm going to explain what it is. Okay. So, this application is um, a, a, um, well, a set of forms. Um, okay, let me start that again. So, this little application is about Firebase authentication. Okay, and um, it's a set of forms that will explain some of the authentication um, and you know a user handling that Firebase provides. So I'm actually waiting for that to okay since it's working now. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have in how to create an account with email and password, how to create an account with a provider, and how to create an account using just the email. Okay, so um, here let me do something. Okay, let's go to my console. So while that is loading, let me show you what you need to install or what I have on my package.json. I can find it, okay? So you will need to start Firebase, okay? And Angular Fire, the latest versions, of course. And that's it. You you just need to install that, okay? I'm going to the console and Firebase, okay? So let's go to app module.ts so you can see it. I try to show you everything, okay? So you can see where everything is placed. You will need to get your environment from Firebase. Of course, for this one is the object that contains your keys. Okay, and because as I said, I will try to show you where everything is placed. You will need to add this one uh, on production. It's the same. Just copy this and add it here. Okay, just add a comma and add that shit there, and uh, you'll be ready to go. <coughs> so. Because while I was checking some um, tutorials about this thing, I realized that I'm not sure how they plan their things. I'm trying to, to explain um, as long as much as I can. Okay? But I like to see um, where everything is placed. You know, let me go to Firebase out on my projects. Okay. And. Um, because since we are not sorry, since we are not going to add everything on the same component, I would like to know how everything works. So you know how everything is placed. So, but uh, I forgot I should. Okay. So I got all my components. Let me find. Okay, you will need the Angular Fire Out module from Fire Out and the Fire module from Angular Fire. Okay. You add those ones into your a uh, fire out module and use the fire module to initialize your app using the environment okay object you have with your keys. That is just the setup. Okay. Any other uh, thing you will need to add, or you want a let's say a fire store or some other things, you will add it inside the imports. Okay all the firebase and um, things you need to add so that ends with implementation okay so let's go let's actually um, so you will see i have some users so some dummy users this is my dummy account so um this one is using google what you need to do no nope. Um, access methods. Sorry that this is in Spanish, but my uh, subscribers that know okay, um, or speak Spanish and don't get 
to in, into English, okay, they will appreciate this. So you will go to access methods, okay, and you just need to click here and add, you know, and enable these two options. This one is just the email without a password, okay, and this one is the email and password. So you save that and any other thing you will need to um, add for user authentication, okay? <clears throat> like Facebook and Twitter, you just click here, ability, and you will need the the keys for the Facebook um, things um, application. You will need to create an application on Facebook and add it here and a lot of crap, okay? So. Also Twitter, yep. So you need the API key and the secret API. Okay, you just add those two here, and you will maybe I will do that later. So let's focus on the simplest one that is Google, and the, usually we are going to use you know a password and email and your, or just password. So I'm focusing on these two. Okay, so enable those and let's go back. Let's actually create. Okay, for this one, I will need to add my account. Okay, um, uh, let me go back to my users and can I delete all this? Let's see, yes. And let's remove this one, of course. Yep. And yep. Now let's remove this one. Yep. Let's keep this one. Okay. So let's try first email and password. Okay. In this case, I'm not verifying the the email. I'm not checking if the if if the email is valid. Okay, you can. Uh, I will show you a code that you can use. I haven't tested, but maybe I will test it right in this video. Okay, but um, let's let's actually first go to the. What oh, we need to? Okay, let's go for the for the one that I've seen a lot of times. Okay, that when you check. When you you know uh, type in, in Google um, Firebase out, they just show you this this crap, okay? As if you're going to use this one in in all your applications. That is the provider, okay? That is just this um, sign with pop up, okay? Uh, with uh, the provider, okay? Sorry, this is not it. It's on my service because I'm stupid okay so okay we add an um, angular fire out okay from our module this is our service that is going to uh, inject all the functionality i'm just adding this error okay that is going to be displayed in down here okay okay let's go so you will see this code in a lot of examples, okay? So what is thing? What is this thing doing? Okay, we are setting this variable user to be the state, okay, of the user. To explain it better, let's say when I um, add my credentials here, okay, whatever I want. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's say submit. If there are just five, Firebase will tell you, okay, you need six at least. Okay, so that's the error. So when I add this, in case I submit, this one is creating an account. Okay, I added an, uh, six there, so let's submit. Okay, I'm redirected to the this private, okay, kind of um, private um, view. Okay, uh, this one is an error here because um, you know the 
I just added five uh, characters into the password, so I just display this one. And once I get uh, my account or I get authenticated, I'm just consoling my email. So that is um, is this okay? The state of the user. Okay, let me check out something. Okay, okay the step and the step. What the hell? This freaking long cable that is rotting my leg. Okay, um, so, um, sorry. <laughs> let me actually, let's see if I can find it. Okay, Firebase Alpha. Oh, so I'm not lying to you. So let me check out. Um, let's check it out. Let's wait for it to. To load, progress out. I'm here. So, so let's say by now that this is the state of the user. Okay. If there's a, a, a user, let's say, okay, if, um, let's go back to email, I'm still uh, signing, so, or log in. So unless I click log out, okay, I will be able to stay um, and check the private uh, route that I have. Okay? So once I got this data and Firebase gets this information, okay. Let's refresh. Okay. Let's go back here if I can see target out. Let's start in here. Let's say an um, email. JavaScript, of course. Um, um, I need you to email. Okay. So, okay, in a nutshell, this, uh, of course, you will need to uh, inject, my constructor is here, inject your Angular Fire out inside your constructor and your router in case you want to uh, redirect. Okay, well, I will show you that in a second. So this is the user, if it's authenticated or not, okay? If we return this kind of instance, and we're at this out state, if, I, if it shows me, okay, it's um, a type of Firebase user, okay, that when we um, add this, the user will be null or an instance of a Firebase user that we can get the email or the display name or whatever we want from that user, okay? So this user is kind of a wildcard that in case we don't have a user, it's going to be null, and in case uh, everything went fine on the uh, the user is created on the on Firebase, we will have we will oh, damn. we will be able to access the the user uh, properties. Okay, so this is um, what is returning from Firebase. Okay. So remember, if it's um, if we don't have a user, or it's not authenticated, or we don't have any idea of that user in Firebase, okay, it's going to be no. Otherwise, it's going to give us the email. I don't want. I just open um, this thing. Okay, uh, I'm, and I'm just consoling that email. Let me close that sheet. Um, okay. No, I'm not consoling there. I'm just returning the email, and so this is it's not that tricky, but it's um, once you see it, you will realize that to authenticate the user or to return something about the user, you just need to get this. Okay, it's going to be the same as in this current version of. Firebase and Angular, uh, Angular file, 
So it's going to be like this. Okay, this is the instance of your user. So after that, okay, this is my constructor. We actually go when where we create the user. So is no okay. On login, I don't know why I have a login as the name of the function, but okay, this one is creating the user with the given email and password. Okay, so if we go to email out and email out component, I'm getting the router, the forms, and validators, and I'm injecting my service because I need that function from Firebase. Okay, I'm getting my instance of router and my service. I'm just creating the form that is an email and password form. Let's go to email out and okay, type email and type password. My this is my login form. Okay, and this is my little error out service error that I'm getting out service error all the way. Okay, from here. Once it's injected and it's public, you will be able to get that. Okay, so let's go to uh, to. <clears throat> so you can see I'm not getting any instance of. In case you you have used Java or something like that, you know that you can get um, as long as it's at, it is in public, you can access that in property. From other parts of the code okay? so this is what is happening you just need to inject maybe public in your a class okay and you will have access to my class that my property okay so this is the same so um, I'm using login because I'm getting the form data this function is being served let me I don't know why it's closing that on submit, okay, I'm just getting the data from these two uh, inputs, and um, passing those two just like that in into the login um, function inside my out service uh, service, okay, and of course my sign in to. Why I'm passing sign sign in here? Well, uh, you, can, you can pass this in, inside your navigation. Okay, so uh, in, this is my here is my sign in. But, oh yeah, yeah, because I'm using the same. Am I using no? Maybe okay. I will take a look at it later. But this one you will add it in case you want to know inside your very uh, first or your root component okay so you can have that inside your navigation and that's it so in this case the login is just getting as i said the email and the password and let's go back to login because i'm the creative um, I'm getting the email and password, both are strings, okay? And then I'm just consoling the user email that actually is in what we had in the console right here when we first created the account. And I'm saying, by now I'm saying if there's an error, just clear it and navigate to the private, okay? That Let's take another look at this. If I create another email, email one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Let's submit. Okay, and I'm redirected to this private um, route. Okay, with the email, email, and the email, email. Okay. So that's it. In case something happens, let's catch an error and show that error message. That is the one that is going to be shown. Uh, below here so this one actually is the, is the create the account okay this one is the user instance 
Okay. And let's move on. So we already have this one uh, clear together with the email component. Okay. I'm not using sign in there, so we can forget that. So let's take a look at logout because logout is going to be the same for any given uh, instance you uh, work with. Uh, when creating an account and logging in, okay, logout is the same for um, for everything. Logout function, okay. So we just call this sign out for the current for the current user, okay. Um, yes. So remember that AF out is my fire base uh, my fire out module okay from fire out so I'm getting all the functionality from there inside there's an out and sorry there's this out and uh, what the hell am I okay and uh, we can um, access any function so if there's a user login we just need to say this af out that out that sign out and then just do whatever we want. Okay, I'm constantly using sign out successfully and navigate the user to the root uh, to the root um, view. And if there's something wrong, you just console that or add a message or whatever you want. So let's say log out. Okay, use sign out successfully. And let's try to go to private. Okay. You can see that I was not able to go to private because uh, I have my out card. Uh, so I will explain that in a second. I have my out card. Okay. So we already have logout. You will see that it's not that hard, but it's more of how you're going to handle your promises. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. So this one is a sign in. If I already have an account, let's go to sign in and sign in with email and password. We have an account that is email at email. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's not break our heads there. Okay, so I'm sign in. Okay, I didn't have to add any other uh, account. It didn't create any other account. It just let me sign in with my email and password. Okay. When that is loading, we just uh, from the out module, we just get or we just use this sign in with email and password. It's just the same as that as the, the other one. We add the email and password as strings, and you will see that it is um, encrypting the password. Well, not is the UID. I think this is. I'm not sure what this is getting, but it's using the information of a user, of course, to create a hash. So it's not um, storing the the password in in plain text. So you have that functionality. So if we use sign in with email and password, we pass an email and password, okay, and then uh, if everything went right, I'm just consoling the email again, okay, email at email, I'm just uh, allowing access because you will see uh, my out, how it is, uh, I'm allowing the access to navigate. But not allowing are you saying okay the user is authenticated so you can uh, drop him on the private zone since he has now the credentials to do it uh, and if everything goes wrong well just console and um, give that error uh, to the user okay that it's just the same, it's just going to appear below this uh, form, this new form here, okay? So, for now everything is simple, 
okay but this is how you will sign in and sign in with um, what email and password as I said in this example we we are not verifying the email or I got a little code that maybe it will work maybe it won't I'm not sure so maybe we will try here um, to see so uh, I think you are already familiar with this one that is a um, Google sign in okay. Twitter is the same thing you just need to add the Twitter uh, provider Okay. Of course, you will need to add your APIs as you saw first. So, um, okay, we already have very cover email and sign in okay. and log out. Of course, that is the same for everything. So let's go to provider that is this simple um, screen. Okay. So if we click sign in, it's going, it's going to take the account that I have on this um, um, instance of my you know Google browser. So let's click sign in. It's going to open this pop-up. And if you aren't um you know if you don't have the account here it will ask you for um, you know for access so you can access the um, so you can give i mean the credentials so they can store it okay once you grant that access you are able to access whatever you want on the application okay this you will be automatically uh, signed in and the account will be added here okay we just need to say sign in with pop up. Let's add the provider. In this case, it's the Google Out Provider, would be the Twitter or the Facebook Out Provider. Okay, I think that's the let me. Um, okay, you will see a Twitter Out Provider, and I think that's uh, the same thing with Facebook. Facebook Out Provider. Okay, so let's keep that shoot there. It's just the same you will need to add in this case since it's from Google and Google will manage all that you don't need the APIs okay since you will be I think Firebase will take care of that and um, on the other ones you will need to create an application uh, to extract the APIs um, to pass them in a, in order to use that um, I'm not sure how that should work so I haven't used it, <clears throat> but I will make something with that later. You have to show you. <clears throat> so after we are signed in, okay, and actually logged in, and actually the account is created, okay, we just navigate the user to the private, and that's it. We just log out, okay, we go to provider, we sign in. Let's wait a second and it's getting my dummy or well not my dummy by you know my phone account <laughs> my phone Google account and you do this okay. so you can log out it's the same so that's it most of the tutorials I've seen uh, like I don't know, seventy percent of the tutorial has seen. They just show you this. Um, that's it. Okay. So uh, this is the the regular one. You will have to, as I said, get your keys from Twitter or Facebook if you if you want to use the out the Facebook or Twitter out provider. And um, that's it. So before I. Uh, Use this one. Okay, let me show you. Yes, you. I need to show you the provider. As I'm importing the service, of course, I'm using a, that service instance, and I'm using the sign with provider. Okay, this is the function that I have. 
uh, here of course and inside this I'm using sign in with pop-up I'm passing the provider and that's it so let's close this one let me show you how my provider works my provider sorry my my guard so you will kind of use this code all the time okay just piping the instance of the user and of course returning that I'm checking if the user is um, created of the or if the user is true then if the user is not login there's no instance of the user okay I'm not going to allow uh, access okay um, that's just it if the user is not logging in a nutshell, I'm just going to redirect him to the to the root uh, view or component okay, or a screen. I don't know how you want to call that. So in a nutshell, you just need to add this, get the instance of the user, and check if the user is um, true. Okay. So you might ask, where the hell this freaking thing is coming from okay remember that I have okay so let me let me that user is coming from this okay I'm using this instance so I'm checking if this thing is or null or is a or it has something okay this that out service that user is coming from here and from there i'm just checking if the user is login if there's something in this in this case if the user is null i'm just going to send it back okay so that's how this thing is working so that's why i was saying this one is my user instance that is going to be checked okay or is null the user doesn't exist or it has a data meaning the user exists and I have access to its properties so this one was a little tricky the send email link so I think I will use my regular email so maybe I can show you that Okay, uh, remember to check out the Firebase um, documentation in case you want to learn more. Okay, <clears throat> so we already have email, provider, sign in, and let's go to the last one. Okay, passwordless, meaning you just need the email. Let's say Alocaba, and I think it's going to show me here on the console because I did that pretty fast I, I just was checking uh, if the uh, code was working so this one I will show you I didn't show you a sign in right it is the same I think I show you because I'm getting just the form uh, email and password I'm using the sign in that is this one okay I need with email and password, passing those ones, um, checking if everything goes right, send it to private, or if not, just a uh, console error. In case I didn't show you that, but okay. And I didn't show you private, so private is just that, it's nothing. I'm just getting the out service because I'm using the user. no of course you will need to call your functions however you want and so i think um, you should know already how to call your functions so i'm not showing that really so because i'm checking if the user is a uh, added you know if the user exists and i'm passing asic as user in order to get um, if we have the user 
So you will use this one as the same as um, this one. Yeah, I'm just checking here if the error exists. Really nothing um, much happening on the HTML. So um, okay, private is already done. Sign in. I'm just doing the same, checking if, if there's an error, there's nothing else. Um, and, okay, let me show you because... Okay. I forgot about this one. So in case, they even show you this, this, um, oh, I will say it, this um, code, for the example, Okay, to use this template. So in case um, there's a user, just show this button that is a logout button. Okay, and if not, just show the sign in. That is this. Okay. Let me go to the. Um, because I think this one sends um, an email yeah, I think it does, let me check out the code so I was just explaining that, okay you already have those ones and <coughs> sorry Let me go because let me go to password list. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, I'm just adding the service, passing those. I barely remember this one, but on the login. I'm getting the same email link and I'm passing the email. Okay, let's go back to the. Okay, so I'm using this one as async. Okay. And you will need to add this action code settings with the URL where you want to uh, send or redirect the user. Okay. <clears throat> Use this handle code in app true. And let's check because uh, we will need to wait for the send link to email so in this case once I add this um, okay, let me go to my other screen and check out on my I'm using Hotmail so let's go to my account <clears throat> I'm waiting for that. So in this case, um, what I didn't send, I should be consoling the. Okay, okay. I didn't click the. So once I click this uh, submit. You just uh, console the set email verification. That is this thing. Okay, so the email should be on my inbox. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for that to load, for my inbox to load. Oh, I think it's on spam. Okay. So this is the the email that you're going to get. Okay. Um, yeah, with your email. So you need to click this. Okay. In order to be redirected. Let's close this one. Okay. I don't mind if you see my emails. 
I don't have, I don't have anything there really huh? I usually don't manage things through email so okay once I return and that uh, URL, URL is verified because it will get a lot of things here in the URL okay, in order to Firebase to know that it's authenticated or that is a valid uh, Firebase URL and so we will uh, get or we will have access and let me see no I think they will not I'm using my email of course I'm using the same one um, or I'm not sure you will need to take a look at that so I got two instances okay let me close one so let's go to let's go to I don't know so let's keep with this so in this case once we use send sign in link to email an email will be sent to our um, inbox it was on my spam um, you know section so we pass the email that we are getting from here and the Azure account settings okay that is the settings that is going to use to redirect and um, concerning the that the email was sent and we need because it's going to be redirected we need to get the email okay <clears throat> to see if that email is the same um, <clears throat> so we store that into the local storage okay so let me open my console let's go to what's on application right oh because i got i clear the storage uh, maybe did i yeah because the storage uh, was clear okay okay so let me keep this I'm using this email sent. It's actually not doing anything, but you can use it as to show a message or something. Okay, in, let's say uh, if this email sent is true, you show a notification that the user that the email was sent, yeah? or something like that. In case something happened, you just cache and show that error. So that's it. Remember that we store this item. We say that um, this signing email inside our local storage to be able to access that um, after the redirection, okay? After being redirected, so we need this confirm sign in. In, in this case, all this is happening inside this password password list, okay? With this uh, function, so we need a way in order let's say here it uh, sends the uh, email to verify user let's say it's not verifying actually well it's verifying of course uh, because it's sending it to your email to verify the user <clears throat> but you could you could add a verification to all these two so let's keep with this so let's confirm if the URL is correct. So what we're going to do, I mean, after we click on the on our email, we click that redirected uh, or redirection link, and we get redirected. It's going to check out if the if the URL is correct. Okay, if you're coming from that, and it's a, a valid uh, Firebase URL with the correct email of course so it's going to check is sign in with email link okay uh, you need to pass the url so in this case this confirm sign in uh, getting the url is being passed here okay on the end i'm getting the url 
and we are going to pass that this is the router of course we're going to pass that into the confirm sign in in that case uh, we get the email um, from the local settings I and mean the local settings from local storage okay we get that email and if the email is not the same one we confirm we uh, add a prompt and use that as an email the email added into that prompt else no i mean um, okay <clears throat> once everything is set we just sign in with that email okay pass in the email and the url it seems i'm not sure about okay it's working of course so you will need to pass the email together with that with that verification URL okay and once you have that you will be uh, able to go to the private and we remove that from the from the local storage so let's say passwordless so let's say again uh, let's go to console let's say submit send email verification Uh, where is oh, application signing email is the email I'm storing okay to keep it persistent and through redirections <coughs> so yeah after that if there's an error we just console an error or whatever you want however you want to handle that if the user was not able to sign in or anything and if there's an error we catch an error and show it to the user so that um, 46, 47 minutes okay so that is this um, new application of the logout this is an application that will show you how to uh, authenticate and uh, add users into your project using Angular Fire and Firebase. Okay, so yeah. Mm, I was going to check out that, but maybe. I will test it the verification the email verification let me show you what I mean the uh, firebase email verification if I can type verification so where is that progress out um was saying okay here it is send a verification message to the user okay we use this send email verification on other tutorials i've seen and other code you might need to pass an email here but i think it's going to get as this is getting the instance of the user so this user gets okay this is the, the same thing they are using they are using variable user as far as out that this is the SDK okay a current user so um, so we could use user that we already have the email Okay, user is already the email and we could pass that say user that send email verification yeah that should be it so let me check out what I will need to take a look at where to handle that so let's say um, just just to, to check it out okay just so you can see what I mean so this will be um, yeah yeah user uh, email verification so in this case my user is the uh, can I do that 
So I cannot access for no because my user is just an email. So I will need to say okay. I I actually have the code here. Let me open my directories and and dun, 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 dun. okay. I'm good. Let's um, where it is. Here, so we will need to do something like this. Let me type this, and um, so it will be that this that AF out that is my instance of the service that out. Okay, no, sorry, that user. But in this case, we are not getting user here, we are getting user inside here. Okay, so I, I will show you the code that this is a piece of code, you can check it out. Okay. So let me type it so you can see how a VS code is going to handle that so it's going to say um, I'm not sure it's going to work so let's go to say this that AF out that is our service that um, I mean our uh, angular fire out module okay so in this case we get this user that is the user that we're getting from here okay the out user credential so it should be that we can subscribe to that because this is an observable okay we use data or let's say x for more references <laughs> and let's say uh, from that x or that x sorry if that x okay and if that x exists should be x that send because it should be the the verification some verification code to that x i'm not sure how it's, how it's going to handle that else let's console that i mean else and uh, let's console a log and um, email verification sent sure why not and after that then we catch or am I? No, no, no. <laughs> because I'm stupid. Because this thing, okay, it returns a promise, okay. Okay, this thing returns a promise. And from here, we just say uh, we don't expect anything from here. And let's say console the email verification, or I mean a email verification sent. And in case there's something wrong, we just say error and console that log. Okay, that um, an error. Um, I'll say error. And let's say error. So let's actually see if this crap works. I was not going to do that, but fuck it. We're here to try things out. So let's take a look. So it's on my create account. But let's say someone. And let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, because all passwords should be that secure. And oh, I open my console for a reason. Okay. Let's say submit. What is going to happen now? Email verification sent. Oh, whoever has <laughs> this someone at <laughs> hotmail.com, check out if you have this. <laughs> if you receive an email, <laughs> because okay, I forgot about that. Okay, let me <laughs> let me do something. Let me say this. Um, Oh, okay. I will need to delete this account. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, yeah, delete account. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say submit. We're creating an account. Email verification sent, and let's take a look. Let me open that on my screen. Let's take a look. 
if that shit works. I hope this thing is recording because let's say I'm waiting for that to load because it's taking ages. Maybe then okay, let's let's wait a bit. Oh you know what? It's working. Follow this link to verify your email address. Nice. But how? Okay, let me do this. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Usually, I don't um, use. I, I don't use. <laughs> fucking stupid. I don't uh, do this kind of things because I don't know. If if, okay, let's add this, and you will have this too. Okay, so this is the sent email verification um, well, no, this okay, email verification. So, in case you want to verify something, an email, okay, and just check out. I just check out, okay, there's a um, so currently I'm working on a project that uses authentication. Okay, so this um, let's take a look at Aldo. What do you have? Okay, just but it should return um, a property with um, is email verified as true. Okay, so you can actually check out uh, your uh, which accounts have a real email okay in case of these ones if you have this one email well you will be out of here as a verified um, account so i think that's it i hope this thing was recorded okay so this is it um as i said i will um, go to my github account you know and the hook um okay let me show that i will add that because sometimes I just upload the videos and I forget, even though it's the same day I upload the videos, I just forget about that. So I go to my repos and things like that, and check them out. Um, yeah. In case I don't add, I don't add the report to the description. Okay, all my repos should be on the on the on each video description. But in case I don't do that because I forget um, just check my github or let me know in the comments okay? so I think that's all for now so okay and uh, let me go okay <clears throat> so yeah I hope you liked it and see you on the next one